Hi, this is Todd Blummer from SDG Systems with another Android demo for you today. Now these demos may not be as highly anticipated as opening and playing with toys like you find in other YouTube channels, but for those of us who are geeks, learning about technology can be interesting and even entertaining. So uh, the dialogue today is going to be a little bit long and technical, so please bear with me. Uh, as we get through some of this uh, early explanation because I'm talking about a technical topic called um, device ownership. Um, it also involves screen pinning. So today we're going to look at how to set the device owner on an Android Lollipop device. Now a device owner is a special type of device administrator who has the ability to create and remove users and to configure the global settings on the device. A device owner application can use the methods in the device policy manager class in Android, and that is for programmers to use. That allows you to take fine-grained control of the configuration, security, and apps on managed devices. So what does all of that mean? As an example, a device owner can take advantage of locking down an application. This is called screen pinning. Once your, once your app activates the screen pinning, a user cannot see notifications, access other applications, or return to the home screen until your app exits the screen pinning mode. You, can also, you may also hear this functionality referred to as uh, a kiosk mode or uh, even just called a single purpose device. The device owner mode can be set in one of three ways. First way is if the device is rooted, second by using ADB, the Android debugger, and third by using NFC, which is the way that the method that we'll use today. So we have an application um, called set device owner that we've written to SDG systems. Uh, this information is available on our blog and this video is intended to be a supplement to what you find on the blog. There's the application and source code there um, that is available. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to have is an Android device that has Lollipop that has been factory reset. After the factory reset, do not configure the device at all. You'll just see this first welcome screen. The second thing that you'll need is a device running at least Android Lollipop. Uh, sorry, at least Android Jelly Bean. And uh, we've got a, a Samsung a Galaxy Note 4 for this device. Now what we're going to do is hit the button here. It says Compute Checksum. You'll see here that there's a URL. This is the application that has the um, screen pinning configured and the device owner this will be the device owner app for this new device. Uh, the URL is going to be sent over and then when this device finishes booting that application is going to be run. So we'll set these back to back and on this one you see touch to beam so we touched it to beam it. And over here, now you see, set up your profile. Continue setting up your work profile. You need to encrypt the device. This may take some time. So we'll hit the encrypt phone. Are you sure? Yes, we are sure. So it's encrypting the phone, and we will be back as soon as that is complete. Okay, we're back following the encrypting of the device and what we see here is that there is a screen to turn on Wi-Fi and that is so it can pull across that URL well it has the URL it can pull across the application that is going to be running in device owner mode it is going to be the device owner app okay there I connected to a Wi-Fi network, a WLAN, and it's setting up the device. 
Now it's going to launch right directly into the application that we sent over. So we sent over that URL, it pulled it down over Wi-Fi, and this is the application that demonstrates the kiosk mode. So as you see right now, you can get into the device. You could go into settings if you wanted to go into settings. We're going to enter the kiosk mode. Status bar disappears. The only button that's available here is back. You can no longer get into the status menu. So it is now a single purpose application. And you see screen is pinned message uh, at the bottom there. Now we can also do other things in this mode. We can become the home activity. We can exit the kiosk mode. So now if we hit home, we just stay in this application. We go to settings and hit home. We go back to the application and we can restore the standard home activity, which is the Google Now launcher. So that's our demonstration of setting device owner mode on an Android Lollipop device. You can find more information at sdgsystems.com. We also offer contract development services for Android. Uh, please contact us if you have any questions or need any assistance.